Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be walking you through the diaphragmatic absorber plans, which are freely available on my website. These panels are quite a bit more effective than your typical fiberglass or rock wool panel. You want to head over to gerhardwestphalen.com and then scroll down to the bottom of the homepage where you'll see this acoustic resources box. You'll put in your email here and then just click sign up, which will redirect you to this resources page. Let's have a look at the DA6 plans. This is a 6 inch thick panel. And in this particular case, I have it as two feet wide by six feet tall. Of course, you could adjust that to the dimensions you need for your room. The frame is made using plywood or MDF. You can buy a sheet and then rip it down to six inch thick strips. You'll notice that there are holes on the side, which while not necessary, will increase the performance of the panel. For a six foot tall panel, I recommend having two braces going across the front to help hold in the rock wool. If we zoom in, to the bottom here, you'll see that there are two layers of rock wool and then the diaphragm on the back. The diaphragm sits on the back of the panel and acts like a drum to absorb low frequency energy. This makes the panel a lot more effective than a typical porous absorber. You'll see a note at the bottom that the rock wool should be rock soul safe and sound or a similar product that's 30 to 40 kilos per cubic meter. You don't want to use something like rigid fiberglass, which would make the panel not work properly. As far as the diaphragmatic material goes, that depends on the use case for the panel. Different materials will target different frequency ranges. I've tested over 50 combinations of materials to create a database that I can reference when designing rooms. If you're interested in getting a design specifically for treating your own room, please contact me for an acoustics consultation, otherwise you'll need to carry out your own R&D. It's important that the diaphragm be free to vibrate on the back, so I normally use French cleats placed at the top and then a spacer on the bottom, which will create a small gap between the diaphragm and the wall. On the top right hand side, we have some suggested building instructions and an estimated cost per panel. In a follow up video, I'll be walking you through some measurements which were taken as panels were installed into a room so that you can get a sense of the effectiveness of the panels.